Hi and welcome to the video about the new 5.0 UI APIs. My name is Andre and I will guide you through this video today. In this video we will show you how to use autocomplete field, bitmap scaling, date and time picker, eyelid field, file picker, location picker, custom menus, picture scroll field, screen transitions and zoom screen. Here is a short demonstration how autocomplete field works. Basically as the user stops typing, the uh, answers come up in a drop uh, down box. If we have a look at the code, uh, we will see that it's uh, quite easy to create these uh, autocomplete fields. We just created an array with the uh, strings uh, uh, of the names of the ones that we want to have in this list. Uh, we chose to ignore the case uh, and uh, we use the comparator uh, for the results. And we, at the end we just chose that uh, uh, the list will be a drop-down list. And uh, when we create an uh, autocomplete field, we just add it to our screen. This sample shows bit upscaling. Uh, let's have a look at the code. Uh, so if we create an image, uh, we can scale it basically into any other image. Uh, we can choose to keep the aspect ratio or not, and uh, we can choose a number of different filters. So the only way to do it is actually to apply scale into method on the actual image. This sample shows date and time picker demonstration. Basically it looks very effective. We can choose to display date only, time only, long date, expiry date, and we can even make our own custom spinners. Using date and picker in our application is very easy. We have to select which type of uh, spinner we want to use uh, and uh, also we have to select the type of the format uh, for the time or date. And then we just create the instance of the date time picker object. Eyelid field is a neat uh, gadget which allows us to fit more information on the small device's screen. When we create a new instance of Eyelid field manager, we can add any other fields to the top by using add top method to the bottom, add bottom method, or to actual field itself in the middle just by using add method. File picker is a smart way to select files from the memory of the smartphone. Even little thumbnails and tooltips are provided. Again, in a few lines of code, we can launch the file picker. Basically, we create the instance of the file picker. We set the filter if needed. We specify the path if we want to the default folder and establish the file connection, which will basically then list all the uh, files on the memory location we selected. Location Picker allows users to select their location a number of different ways. The user can enter the location manually, can use uh, built-in application specific locations, can choose from recently selected uh, locations, can choose uh, to use GPS signal to find my current location, uh, to find it on the map manual, as you can see on our sample, and uh, you can choose location from contacts. There are a number of different uh, ways that user can choose a location, such as uh, to enter the location, reset location, use GPS to find its location, and uh, click on the map, as we said before. Uh, to actually use this, we need uh, to make the instance of the location picker class and uh, set the listener and uh, that's pretty much it. This sample shows customized menu with uh, changed background, border and the font. To create a custom menu we use the background factory and border factory to create background and border we use the fi font family to select the font and then we use method set background, set border and send font to assign them to our menu. 
We can further customize our menus by adding sub-menus to our menu items that you can see on this demonstration. After creating a menu item, we can add sub-menu items by using add method to that menu item. We can also add small icon images to our menus now. After creating a menu item and creating an image, we just add sign that image to our menu item using set icon method. Picture scroll field allows us to uh, display pictures on the BlackBerry device in this nice way. To create picture scroll field, after creating our array of images, labels and callouts, we create a new picture scroll field object and then we select the styles that we want to use such as illuminate or transparency and at the end we add our picture scroll field to our screen. At last we have uh, screen transitions effects on the BlackBerry. We have slider, we have fade, wipe, and we have zoom effect available. As you can see in our code, there are a number of different uh, uh, parameters that we can specify, such as uh, what type of uh, transition we want uh, to use, uh, in this case it's slide, the duration, uh, the direction uh, of the transition and so on. In the sample code we see that we use UI engine set transition method, which usually runs in a separate thread, to push and pop the screens on and off the main device's screen. All four effects available have pretty much the same code uh, uh, that uh, they use to set the parameters and get uh, things into the motion. Zoom screen is used for the images to zoom in and out and pan the image. There is a little navigation uh, map in the corner so the user knows where it is. Using zoom screen is very easy. We just uh, launch a new zoom screen and pass the image that we want to use as a parameter. In this video we have seen a number of different examples of new UI APIs available in 5.0 device software. We have seen the implementation call for these UI APIs and how easy it is to use. Uh, we also see how it easy it is now to create stunning applications. The sample code is uh, bundled with uh, JD 5.0. Thank you for watching and goodbye.